The House of Orange, the royal family of the Netherlands, has just crowned itself a new king, the first since 1890. Ellen Proper is joining us from Amsterdam, where the celebrations are still carrying on. Ellen, this was the investiture of King Willem Alexander after his mother, Queen Beatrix, who had been on the throne for 33 years, um, abdicated. Indeed, it was the day of the investiture of King Willem Alexander after his mother signed the instrument of abdication. And she was not the first who abdicated, because King Willem I has set the tradition of abdications. And after him, Wilhelmina, Juliana, and now Beatrix all abdicated. Of course, um, he's not going to be on the throne alone. He has a consort, Princess Maxima, who's, I believe, Argentinian. Yes, he's married to Maxima, and they have three daughters. The eldest one is Amelia. She's nine years old now, and her godmother is the Crown Princess of Sweden. That's Victoria. And they have two other daughters, that's Amelia and Alexia. And the question is, will Amelia be the next in line to follow up? Absolutely. I mean, it's quite interesting, though, I mean, at this stage. I mean, how popular do you think the new king is? I mean, were there many people out there celebrating? Well, he is popular because 79% of the Dutch population is for the monarchy, but there are also some Republicans, and yeah, so they have demonstrated today. Well, it's quite interesting, I mean, because obviously, not, as you're pointing out, not everybody's particularly happy about this, and you were talking to two of them earlier. Let's, let's watch what happened there, Alan. He's the only king, but we know that there are 16 million kings in this country that should have the same allowance, should get the same amount of money, and uh, uh, today we hope to crown as many people as possible to, um, to form an army of kings, to free the king. I just have to ask you, Ellen, why is it called the House of Orange? Well, uh, there was a Duke uh, of Orange, and it's a small city in, um, in France, and uh, that's where they have the name from. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. It's very kind of you, Ellen.